let's continue with our discussion. So this time, let's introduce the solution of systems of linear equation by substitution. So in the earlier discussion, we have seen by elimination. So this time, let's do that by substitution. And maybe we can use the same examples. We have again the first example, 3x minus y equals 2, equation 1. Then equation 2 is x plus y equals minus 6. From the term itself, by substitution, we will be substituting. But what will we substitute? So what we will do is <clears throat> we now solve one variable in terms of the other from one equation, and then we substitute that value in the other equation. Okay, so how do we do that? So let's say <clears throat> we can solve x in terms of y in equation 2. Or if you like, you can solve y in terms of x in equation 1 or 2. And it will do. Okay? So let's say we will solve x in terms of y from equation 2. So we get x equals minus y minus 6. This is from equation 2. Okay? So from equation 2, we get x is equal to minus y minus 6. And then what we will do is we now substitute x in the equation that we did not use. And in this case, equation 1. So we have 3, our x is minus y minus 6. And then we have minus y what will you notice here? We now have reduced the system to an equation involving only one unknown. So solving now for y, we get minus 3y minus 18 minus y equals 2. Minus 3y minus y is minus 4y minus 18. When we transpose that, that will be positive 18 plus 2 will be 20. Divide both sides by minus 4. Y will be minus 5. So that will be the value of Y. Then since we now have the value of Y is minus 5, we substitute Y in the equation involving uh, X. So let's say we substitute y in this equation. Okay. So that's we can call that as 2 prime. Let's call this as 2 prime. Okay. So substituting y in 2 prime, we get x equals minus y minus 6. X will be 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So our solution set is x is minus 1, y is minus 5. So again, if you would like to check the substitute, x is minus 1, that's minus 3. Minus 3, this is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. That's minus 1, minus 5, minus 6. Let's also solve the second example that we had earlier using substitution. We have 2x minus 3y equals minus 2, equation 1. And equation 2 is 4x plus y equals 24 as equation 2. So, when you are using solution by elimination, try to find a variable that has a coefficient equal to 1. In this case, we have y in the second equation. Why do we locate for that? Because it will be easier to isolate that. But just in case your system has no variable with coefficient 1, you can manipulate any of the equations just to produce a variable 
having coefficient equal to 1. But in that case, you will not be able to avoid fractions. So that's the difficult part for solution by substitution. But anyway, for this one, we can manipulate equation 2. So from equation 2, we get y equals 24 24 minus 24 minus 4x. Let's call this, if you like, let's call this as 2 prime again. And then we substitute y or 2 prime in equation 1. We get 2x minus 3. Y is 24 minus 4x equals minus 2. So this gives us 2x minus 24 times 3 is 72 plus 12x equals minus 2. Solving for x, 2x plus 12x is 14x and then transpose that will become plus Okay, that will become plus 72 plus 2 is 70. Wait, why do we have a fraction here? Let's just double check. 2x minus 3y is minus 2. 4x plus y equals 24. That will be y equals 24 minus 4x. Then substituting it in equation 1, we have 2x minus 3 times 24 minus 4x equals minus 2. But why do we have a fraction? Now we have 2x minus 3 times minus 2, uh, minus 3 times 24 will be minus 72. That will be plus 12x. Okay. Plus 12x. Okay. So that's plus 12x equals minus 2. 2x plus 2. 12x is 14x. If we transpose this, that becomes positive 70. Uh, positive 72 minus 2 is 70. Okay. And divide both sides by 14. 70 divided by 14 is 5. Okay, sorry. I thought that's a fraction. So x is equal to 5. Now that we have x equals 5, we can substitute x in... 2 prime. And substituting x in 2 prime, we get y equals 24 minus 4 times 5. Therefore, y will be 24 minus 20. y is equal to 4. Therefore, our solution set is the ordered pair 5, 4. So we have already checked this earlier that we have that as a correct solution set. Now, question, is the solution by substitution still applicable for systems in three unknowns? Well, the answer there is yes, but the process will be longer and the process will be more complicated. But anyway, let's give it a try using the same example that we had earlier. We have x plus 2y plus z equals 8 and then we have minus 2x minus 3y plus z equals minus 5 and then we have 2x plus 2y minus 3z equals minus 3. So we have equation 1, equation 2, equation 3, that's our system. So let's solve this by substitution. Let's look for a variable with coefficient 1. We can have x in equation 1 or we can have z. So you can choose any. So let's say let's have x in terms of y and z. So we have x equals 8 minus 2y minus z. This will now be our new equation 1. Let's call this as 1 prime. Then what will we do with that? We can now substitute 1 prime 
in let's say 2 so we get minus 2x is 8 minus 2y minus z minus 3y plus z equals minus 5 so if we will simplify this we have minus 16 plus 4y plus 2z minus 3y plus z equals minus 5 or that will be combining similar terms that will be y plus 3z equals 16 minus 16 transpose that will become positive 16 minus 5 11 let's call this now equation 4 and then substituting again 1 prime or x in equation 3 what do we obtain we have 2 times 8 minus 2y minus z plus 2y minus 3z equals minus 3 giving us 16 minus 4y minus 2z plus 2y minus 3z equals minus 3 that's minus 3 combining similar terms minus y plus 2y is minus 2y minus 2z minus 5z is minus uh, minus 3z I mean is minus 5z minus 3 minus 16 is minus 19 that's equation 5 so what happened now we have reduced the system from three unknowns we now have two unknowns so the resulting system you can again use substitution if you like so let's say from four we have y is 11 minus 3z we can call this as four prime so what you will now do is substitute four prime in five resulting to an equation involving one variable only so that becomes minus 2y but y is 11 minus 3z minus 5z equals minus 19 or that's minus 22 plus 6z minus 5z equals minus 19 so that gives us minus 6z minus 5z is z this is minus 22 plus 22 this is minus 19 22 minus 19 is 3 so z is 3 which is the same as the earlier example and then we substitute z let's say in 4 prime z in 4 prime z in 4 prime we get y equals, maybe we can compute this mentally, 3 times 3. So this is minus 9, 2 minus 9, uh, 11 minus 9 is 3. And then substituting y and z in 1 prime. Oh, y and z in 1 prime. y and z in 1 prime. I don't have enough space, so let's just insert it here. x will now be. What's your y? 2. 2 times 2, 4. Your z is 3. Minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. 8 minus 7 is 1. So our solution set, x is 1, y is 2, z is 3. Which is just exactly the same as the solution set that we had earlier. So that's the solution by substitution. So it's quite long for uh, systems in 3 unknown. So the next lecture video will be on the Kramers.